Hi everyone, it's Diane. I'm working on this sewing book binder journal. I have the pages cut and punched and they're in the binder. And I see I have to trim that one a little bit. So what I'm gonna do right now is do something to the to the tab dividers. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with every one of them, but I brought some items over that I can just glue on and um, got my fabrics here so I can sew some stuff on it. So we're just gonna go one by one. I have uh, 11 tabs, I think, 11 or 12. 12. And uh, I don't know if we'll get to them all today, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I thought I'd turn the camera on. So I did have something picked out for this one. I wonder what I did with it. I had it all ready to be adhered. Well, I don't know where it is. It was an old envelope that the housewife ordered by mail sewing pattern but it didn't have the picture of the pattern on the front it just had really cool you know words and and I put washi tape oh there it is there it is okay I put this washi tape on it because it was torn a bit here I punched there and I cut the flap off the flap was in terrible shape and I just want to glue that here but because of the color of the washi tape I thought I would take one of these um, flashcards that I got that are from Old Design Shop and attach that. I had printed them onto some colored and patterned paper. I don't want to cover up this design book by Clotilde, so I'm putting it up here. Maybe I'll put a little of that on too. And I can't sew them, obviously, because it's an envelope, so I will just glue them. I don't need Fabri-Tac for this piece, but I'm going to use it for the fringe trim, so I'll just use it. And thank you for responding to my question about the crack at the base of the nozzle. I am not the only one experiencing it, and it's not from putting the bottle upside down, because some of you have the problem and you don't put your bottle upside down. One of you responded that if you contact Beacon, which is the company that makes this glue, they will replace it with a free bottle because it was a design flaw or a, a packaging flaw or something and they've, they've redone the bottles. So I guess I'll have to contact Beacon. And this is like the third one that it's done it to but I'll just ask for one bottle. We've been having some pretty hot days here. We've had a streak of hot days, but I think starting tomorrow it's going to cool off some at least. I'm looking forward to that. I 
might be fun to zigzag cut this. I mean, pink it with my pinking shears. And kind of narrow so I could sew it together with this. Let's do that. That would make a fun tag. Let's see the height. Perfect. Maybe I need to move this a little bit. too wide now, but I'm going to pink around this edge and see how much I need to cut off. These are old pinking shears that I got at a flea market and they don't cut fabric. That's what I wanted, but they don't cut fabric. I, I actually splurged on some pinking shears at Joann's when they were on sale. But uh, I use them for paper, but they're not ergonomic. I can't use them for very long. They hurt my hand. But I'm glad to have them. I use them. I wonder if I can cut this semi-straight. I better put some more washi tape. I knew I had to do that. I just forgot to finish. There's a little tear there, too. Okay, that fits in there great. I'm just going to trim off the very bottom just to give it a pink edge down there, too. washi tape that has some buttons on it, so I think I'll use that. <clears throat> and I want to thank you also for answering my question about making, putting together some journal kits with 12 by 12 paper and I was asking about the boxes and the shipping and all that. Someone commented that I can get flat rate boxes from the post office and I didn't even realize I had one here. I picked up a large flat rate box by mistake one time and I've had it here ever since. But I, I went online and I ordered a batch so I'll have them here but they're five and a half inches deep I think. But I have to see I didn't realize that there was a weight limit on these um, flat rate boxes, but I've never exceeded the weight limit on any of the stuff I cram into them, so I'll have to see what the weight limit is and then see how much stuff I can put in one of these boxes for journal kits. So there's that one, and that's the very first page, and it has a nice big journaling card, and then you can put something of your own in there, whatever you want. It's a nice big pocket there. I'm going to skip the pages and just work on the tab dividers today. Get that right out of the way. So I think for the, oh, this says the commercial pattern, so think we should put a piece of a pattern on there. I 
have this old pattern envelope. Oh, this is what came out of in that Clotilde envelope, so perfect. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll make something out of this right here that will fit in that pocket and put include this with the book. But I'm going to cut one of these sections out right now. of fabric there behind it or something Excuse my reach. Okay, we're going to sew this on. I'd like to know what you think about um, the binder journals. As you may know, um, I haven't done a lot of them. I have a lot of a lot of binders to use, but those two garden ones were the first ones that I did. So this is my second set that I'm doing. The other one that I'm doing is going to be a different different type of binder, but it is a sewing binder. But it's not Better Homes and Gardens. So my question is. I like decorating these because they're nice and sturdy, but also because they're nice and sturdy, it's a good thing for you to decorate. So I'd like to know what you think about whether I should continue to collage and add pockets and things to the front. So I leave the back plain for you to do something with, but or if you would prefer to have that left plain for yourself. I'm just curious. And I mean, I could do like every other one or something. So I'd like to know your thoughts. Because I'm counting on you folks to want one of these journals when they're done. So I want them to be something that you think you can use. Sometimes I think about the way I use things, which is good. I need to do that. But I 
also need to remember that other people use things differently than the way I use them. What I do with my beacon glue. Oh, it's hiding behind my sewing machine. that one. Ouch. So after talking about that, I guess I'll leave the, tab, the third tab card plain and I'll just do the fourth one. Cutting the dress. brought over some things that, that would be fun to just add to the front of this. I have this tulip, this piece of a tulip um, quilted. It was all, these tulips were stitched together, I think, into a table runner placemat or something, but I had picked them apart. Maybe I'll just glue that on. But I should probably put something in the center just for fun. It is a fabric flip, but I'm going to sew it down so it's not flippy. Which way here? grandson Teddy started third grade today. Layla lives in New York so she doesn't go back till after Labor Day. And Adam, Teddy's brother, is going to be doing a charter school, charter computer-based charting charter school. So his starts I'm not sure when. Maybe that's after Labor Day, too. So, during the school year, I'm going to be uh, responsible for Adam some days. Because he won't be... He won't be at school. He'll be doing school on his computer here. On the days that, I, that he needs to be with somebody. If his mother is working. But he's 13. 
I should even be able, for the few hours that I go to work, I should be able to go to work and let him here doing his work. We'll see how that works out. Got one of my giant tags. I think I might have to trim it a little bit. Yeah, or at least cut the bottom off. Maybe that's all I'll do. But I, I don't want to try putting it in <clears throat> until that dries. So I'll, when I get that cut to size, I will embellish the tag with maybe one of these swatch pages or something. So I'll leave this right here so I can work on that. One of the things I wanted to do on these pages was just sew a bunch of fabrics down the edge, kind of like that fabric swatch. Ouch. Stuck my finger on a, knee, on a pin. I'm looking. I'm looking for a swatch. And I'm going to put a piece of lined paper here for journaling.
Okay. Could I do something with that? Here are my fabric pinking shears. They're much better. I'm going to fold that under and stitch it down because it's a raw edge and it's not going to be sewn. I'm going to use that as a pocket, I think. Or should I just sew it on as a decoration? Might as well go for a pocket, right? Something not right with my bobbin. I always seem to have a problem with the bobbin when I'm using black thread. That is just so weird. Oops. Because of how it narrows here, the tag won't go down very far. So I do need to cut some of that off, but the width is fine. pages. I'm 
These are possibilities, those cute little girls. I think I need to make sure these two go in the binder. Look at that. If these pages don't go end up in the binder, they will be in your packet. I'm going to send these with the, the book because those pages are too great to not have with your book. I think because it's a nice, fun tulip, I'm going to go with these little girls. I'm going to go with that one. I'm not fussy cutting it, I'm just doing a broad outline around them. green dress. Sorry I was off camera. Still am. <laughs> hmm. Pattern tissue. Oh, I'm at half an hour here.
I kind of wanted that A bodice front part to show a little bit more. So I rearranged things. This one is angled that way, so I angled that one that way, in case you were wondering why I did that little change. And I will have to punch that hole here through the tissue and then add some seam binding or something, but that's basically done. Fun. I'll sew around the outside and see if the bobbin is doing any better. shows up more when I do zigzag stitch. This seems to be okay. That's a fun little tag. And that's a fun little pocket. do last. We did number eight. So we'll skip nine and go to ten. Evening and dress up fashions. get my patterns, my vintage patterns, and see if I have an evening gown pattern. Oh, no, I have a book. Ugh. I have some big books. could I forget about these when I'm making a sewing journal? I have this small book and then the large counter book from the 80s. <clears throat> this one from the 80s and this one's from the 60s. And her, her gown is just the right color to match that yellow so I might just cut that out and put it on. <clears throat> this one is from 1969. This is 
from my Montgomery Ward catalog. I made a copy of that page because <clears throat> I wanted something on the other side to cut out. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with my first thought and do that. But I'll probably include, cut some of these pages out and put them in the binder itself because I forgot. Oh, sorry about that. They're heavy. I forgot to do that when I was picking out pages for the journal. Sarah just sent this to me. Thank you, Sarah. tape coming off the side here but that ATG tape I can just ball up and roll off okay I'm gonna get my beacon glue for the trim I guess that means all of the tabs that I'm going to decorate are done. I was letting that dry. The glue, of course, comes through the lace, so I didn't want to put it back in the book till it was dry. Happened to ten. These pages aren't as fragile as the garden book pages were. I'm not sure if I need to put reinforcements on them. I mean, they came out of this binder without reinforcements, so I think they're fine. But if I see any that look compromised at all, I'll put reinforcements on them. So I got gained a little bit in volume here. 
So next step will be decorating the pages. So hopefully I'll get a chance to work on that tomorrow. I definitely, this is wrapping paper that was pretty fragile, so I do have to do some doctoring on that. All right. So that's the next step for that one, but I think I will work on getting the pages cut and into the second book. Um, like I said, I have to do them separately because the pages are a slightly different size and I didn't want to get confused. So I've gotten this far with this book, so I'll get the pages done in that book and maybe do the, the tabs and then I can go to town decorating the pages. Thanks for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.